I mean, I knew that Teresa would continue to threaten our happiness, but what I didn't see coming is that she'd do it as Alistair's wife. She is unstoppable now, and this is all your fault. My fault? Well, at least you admit to it. Wait, wait, wait. How, how the heck is Teresa marrying Alistair my fault? Well, she'll never go through with it, Gwen. Teresa will never marry Alistair. No, she'll just take little Ethan, and she'll move back with her family, and she'll let us raise Jane in peace. Yeah, right, because not only is Teresa still around, little Ethan is now the new heir to the Crane Empire, and Jane is slipping away right before our very eyes. I mean, forget the fact that the courts, you know, declared her an unfit mother, and forget the fact that she tried to push me into an incinerator during a psychotic episode, but now the Teresa, who would never marry Alistair, has to give us permission to take care of your daughter. I'm sure, Alistair put her up to that. Oh, okay, and you've been correct about everything else in the past, When, right? hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen to me. Look at me. Calm down, please. Okay. My worst nightmare is coming true because Teresa is going to succeed in taking away everyone that I love. First it was Sarah, then our unborn son, and now it's Jane. And before you know it, we're going to be kicked to the curb because we're not bowing and scraping enough. Honey, no matter what happens, we will still have each other, all right? No, we won't because she's not going to stop until she takes you away from me, too. Sit down and listen to me. Teresa, it's not going to steal me away from you, I promise. Honey, you're very naive. No, no, I'm not. But you, you are a little paranoid. I wish that's all it was. You know, I'd take a few pills, have a little therapy, and everything would be fine. Unfortunately, everything's not going to be fine. Because Teresa marrying Alistair is going to be the end for us. I know it. No, it's not. Gwen, you're my wife, and I love you, okay? Ethan, I love you, too. But it doesn't matter. It's not going to stop Teresa. She's going to continue to insinuate her way into our marriage. The girl is like a deadly virus, right? You think you got her beat? No, she mutates into something stronger and worse and deadly. She's going to attack, 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 <clears throat> till your resistance is down and you finally succumb to her. No, she won't. It's not going to happen. It can't happen. Really? Because it has happened before, and it will happen again. It's not going to happen. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to get you some, I don't know, some warm milk, and it'll help you relax, okay? Oh, please put some cinnamon in it for me. I, I will put cinnamon in it. I'll be back. God, I don't want to lose him. Do not want to lose him to Teresa. You already regret marrying Alistair, don't you? His taking the leaf into raising his image, his uh, insatiable demands for sex. It's all too much for you, isn't it? I hate him. I, I hate him telling me what to think. What to do and when to do it. Um, when he touches me, I cringe. And, um, the way he is in, in bed. Don't, don't he's rough. He, he grabs me, he forces me, and he hurts me, and, and he doesn't care. Can you help me? Can you please just take me away from you? Somewhere where Alistair can't find us. You know, stop him from raising my son. Stop him from forcing himself on me. The things that he wants me to do, and it, it makes me sick. Uh, 
Listen, listen. I'm sorry. But I am not the one forcing you to stay here. No, you are. You took my daughter away from me. And you're trying to shut me out of her life altogether. That's why I married Alistair. You and Gwen are the reason that I am in this mess. No, Teresa, you are in this mess because you refuse to listen. People begged you not to do it. They lined up saying, don't marry Alistair. But did you listen? No, you didn't. You went ahead with it anyway. Why do you do, why do, you do these things that just end up in disaster? Why? Because I think that it's fate's way of leading us back together. Teresa, it's just you making one bad decision after another. Okay, then just tell me what I do. What do I do? How do I fix this? Because I thought that I could handle being Alistair's wife, and I can't. And then the, the thought of him raising my son, your namesake. Uh, I will help you. You'll help me. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you still loved me. I knew you wouldn't let me live in hell as Alistair's wife. So where do we go? We, we gotta go somewhere where Alistair would never think to look for us. It's, it's gotta be like Spain or, or Central America or an island on the south. Teresa. Somewhere. But... You don't understand. You just don't understand. Just because I love you and I love the kids does not mean I can leave my wife and go be with you. Ethan, you said that you would help me. I do want to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you and little Ethan leave Harmony. You are not Alistair's property and you can go wherever you want. I'm not going anywhere without you and without my daughter. You're not listening to me again. I will help you and little Ethan leave town, but I cannot leave my wife to do it. Ethan, you have to. I, you, Teresa, you can, you can insist. You can beg. I am not going to leave my wife. But if you are serious, if this is about leaving Alistair and keeping little Ethan from being corrupted, then you pack your stuff and you pack little Ethan's stuff and I will help you get out of here before Alistair even realizes what's going on. And what about Jane? Jane will stay here with me and Gwen, like the court ordered. She's my daughter. Teresa, she is my daughter, too. She is our daughter, not yours alone. Jane cannot replace the daughter that Gwen lost because of us. And I will not let my wife lose another child. Now, either you and little Ethan leave, or you can both stay here. It is up to you. Part of the reason... I married Alistair was to get James. And what are you, you going to be, Alistair's sex slave, and, and just hope and pray that that happens? Look, it's up to you. Either you and little Ethan can leave Harmony, and I'll do everything I can to protect the both of you, or you and little Ethan can stay here and be at Alistair's mercy for the rest of his life. And given that man's stamina, Teresa, could be a couple decades. You can either face years and years, decades of, of mental and physical abuse, or until he does something to you in bed, Teresa, that makes you want to kill the bastard. Nobody breaks a deal with me. Nobody. I take my profits one way or the other. But it is your choice. It is completely up to you. Either you and little Ethan leave Harmony where you have a chance to go someplace safe, someplace where you can have a good life with your son, Teresa, or you can stay here and be Alistair's plaything until he dies or until you kill him. So Teresa's married to Alistair and little Ethan is doomed to take over the tyrant's footsteps. Teresa has her way, so will Jane. I wish my mother was here. I could pick her brain a little bit. Oh my God, I can't believe it's come to this. I am this desperate, huh? Here we are. What took you so long? I ran 
ran into Teresa in the kitchen. Guess I should have known. I mean, she lives here now. It's no surprise she'll probably be barging in on you anywhere in any place she can, any time. Maybe I should put a bolt on the door so she doesn't wind up in the shower with you. Maybe I should have put some brandy in there instead of cinnamon because you're worked up more than when I left. Honey, thinking about Teresa makes me crazy. It just does. I'm sorry. So tell me, did she give you the whole, like, love me or, or just get out of here ultimatum? Or maybe did she kind of try and talk you into having sex with her to make Alistair's assaults more bearable? Uh, no, Gwen, neither. As a matter of fact, she's very desperate to have me help her move out of here and away from Alistair for good. Really? This from the woman who just had to marry Alistair to get you and Jane back. Teresa has realized that she has made a mistake. Can I get that in writing? I'm serious. And she's dead serious about leaving. She is packing for her and little Ethan to head out tonight. For good. <laughs>